Good night, Mom. I'm off to bed. Are you getting tired of this happening to you? Wish you had an easier way to switch off your lights? Well then you need a switch! Join me, Mr. Bradley, as we learn how to turn night from day at the touch of a button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hello boys and girls, teachers and parents, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we're going to be learning about switches. Before we begin, please pause the video and do the starter questions that I'm about to show you right now. Time to learn about the switch. A switch is something that's used to easily break or make a gap in the circuit and then put it back together again. It's important to remember that the circuit should still be made by connecting the metal wires to the positive and negative side of the battery in a continuous loop. I'm now going to show you just how easy it is to make a switch using only a couple of drawing pins and a paper clip. Okay, so remember, a switch is just an easy way of breaking the circuit and then putting it back together again. To make my switch, I'm going to connect the wires to two drawing pins, which I'm then going to complete the circuit using a paper clip. I'm just going to use this rubber to put my drawing pins into, just to hold them steady. And now I'm going to put my paper clip on like so. And now I'm just going to attach the crocodile clips on like so. There's one and there's the other. Okay, so now you can see that my switch is open. The electricity has no way to flow from this drawing pin to this one because of course the rubber is an insulator and does not conduct electricity. As soon as I touch my paper clip to the other drawing pin, the electricity can now flow through the metal. When my switch is closed, I have completed the circuit and the electricity now can flow through the wires into the light bulb. Now here's a switch that you might recognize from some electrical appliances that you have at home. It looks a little bit more complicated than my switch, but it's really not. It works the exact same way. When the switch is open, my light bulb is off because the circuit has been broken. It is not a complete circuit. As soon as I close my switch and complete the circuit, the light bulb now switches on. That's because the circuit has been completed and the electricity can flow through those wires. And so we have reached the end of our video about switches. But there are still so many other things that we can add to our circuits, such as spinning motors and annoying buzzers. But that's a lesson for another video. <laughs> Recap time. A switch is simply a device that we use to break and complete the circuit at the touch of a button. When we close the switch, we complete the circuit and the light bulb turns on. When we open the switch, we create a break in the circuit and the light bulb turns off. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more cool, interesting, educational videos. Hey, if you like drawing, be sure to stay tuned for part 4 of the circuit videos. In this video, we will learn how to draw the symbols of a circuit. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.